much talent and that's what I'm talking So we're about to check out a collab between Red Velvet Yeti, Hechan Chandler, and Jisung of NCT, and Ning Ning of S. But we're gonna check out the new 2021 version of Snow Dream. Now I say new, and I'm not gonna pretend like I knew this the whole time. I actually kind of just put two and two together that it says Snow Dream 2021, and I was like, hmm, is there an original? So I did look up SM Town Snow Dream. Lo and behold, there is an original, and it's actually. Pre girls generation, but post Super Junior. So it's like Super Junior debut and back, everyone who's debuted since. Um, and girls generation is not in there. I'm pretty sure because I saw an MV. They're not in there. I didn't recognize any girls generation voices when I heard it. Uh, I've heard the song like twice already. It's actually a really nice song. Like it actually sounds really nice. And I would love to hear these individuals, the Macnays of SM, sing it. Now speaking of magnets, I wish we could have had like a soul in here, you know, but we can't all have the best things in this world. We have to compromise, you know, and far, this is far from a compromise. Oh my God, that sounded so rude. This is far from a compromise. I'm just saying we have to settle for not having a lot of girl generation shit. <laughs> That's what I mean. But like I this is far from a compromise. These guys are so fucking good. And I want to hear it because like I said, I've heard the song like twice. It's a really nice song. I want to hear his take on it. So let's check out Snow Dream 2021 from the incredible Macnaise of SM. All right, Snow Dream 2021. Oh, look, you look so gorgeous. Did you know that? I'm sure you did. Look at these handsome individuals. And then Yeti's gorgeous self as well. Woo! I'm ready. Yeah, but definitely is this song. I remember the start immediately. Ooh. Dude, the vocals present though, wait.
how good he did that shit kind of threw me off, bro. <laughs> how good he did that threw me off. Cause I was gonna say something, I completely forgot. Thank you, G-Son. Appreciate it. This is such a nice song. That was such a nice version of the song, bro. <laughs> I gotta react to NCT more often, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, like, obviously, it's very evident you look at my channel. I don't react to NCT very often. Like, I, it's nothing like, oh, I don't like the group. It's just I don't. I, I don't know why. Um, it just so happens that coincidentally. When I'm not feeling like reacting, as uh, as like NCT drops some shit, or like I react to other stuff, and then I'm like tired, and I save NCT for last, and they just so happen to be the ones I don't get to. <laughs> it sounded so nice, dude. Like I said, this this might end up being in my head the original because when they do a 2022, like obviously there is an original, but because it's like essentially my first time hearing it because I heard the songs like twice, hasn't had a proper time to cement itself with me apart from like the hook. Um, this is just gonna feel like the original for me. <laughs> they all sound so nice together, obviously individually as well. I just like that SM does these collabs. Um, I wish they happened more often. Uh, I did, I did say that as well in the, uh, the zoo reaction. But I like it's, uh, I like, I do, I do kind of see, like, how dope it is to have it be something special, you know? Um, so, I, maybe, maybe it's alright that it doesn't happen very often. But, uh, clearly when it does happen, it's really nice, so. Uh, especially, like, I love seeing people remake older songs. This is dope. Need a revolver comeback. I need to react to more NCT. And I need more ding ding, and that's part of my life. All, all good things that can come in 2022. All good things. <laughs> 